Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit and welcome to my happy crafting place. I have this idea that I think you're gonna love. I'm so excited about it. It's a good one, let me just say that. We are using this Florida Lee stamp to come up with a hinge for booklets and that. And I'll show you what it looks like, uh, one variation, but I have a couple of different variations that I think you're gonna wanna stick around to see because there are some pretty cool ideas. So this is basically one version of it uh, used in a journal on the actual page. Here's a little booklet hinge. You open it up and it's got these silver little fleur de -lis that that give the impression of a hinge. This is a great opportunity to pull out I, lots of your metal finish items, your metal, uh, your stickles, your, I even have these they're like Adirondack mixatives, and they kind of, they give the impression that uh, it actually looks like silver or gold. So those are really cool. But we're basically starting out with the stamp as our base. These are ones that I did in the vintage photo just by itself. I, I would like to try some gold. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try maybe too light try to get it lots of layers on there and really you can just use these for your use your scraps as your base which is what i have done all right so it is kind of light but it still gives a cool effect so there's that and then i just kind of tear these into smaller bits and that's the great thing about this is something ornate like a hinge if you you're transferring it from paper then you generally have to fussy cut it but we just take the little bits and give it that kind of torn look but depending on your supplies i have a couple of different options for you so uh distressing these along the edge gives it a really good look i highly recommend that and then you could just leave it gold or you could add maybe like a gold brad to the middle of it to give it like a little bit of that extra hinge look I also have uh, the eyelets. So eyelets might be an option to place in the middle as well. So something like this on there. And you can kind of see the shape of that. And if my Fleur de Lis stamp was one of those flat stamps, I could use my stamp book where it stamps basically in the same spot every time, but mine's on a wooden block. So that's not gonna work for me, unfortunately. All right, let me, here's another one that I did with the brad in it. As you can see right here. And look how cute that is. I'll just like open it up. Just demonstrate so you can just see the process. It's not, it's not too difficult. And the top of the Fleur de Lis is gonna be facing outward. Oh, I forgot one step. You have to glue down your booklet first. Oh, I got so excited. I'm so excited about this one. It's probably better to decorate these this first before you put the hinge on, but I'm not doing that today because I'm a little excited about it. So I'll just do it afterwards. But if you're doing it, that's what I would recommend. And so just kind of make a note of where it is laying. So like here you can see the hinge kind of like that and then it just flips over we could just do black ink let's try that and then i have another cool one that well actually let's do this for the black one just let it sink, soak in a little bit and then we'll play around with some of our other items, our metal items that we have here today. And 
and show you another cool one I'm excited about besides putting it in in the book so we're gonna do and I'm excited to also show you what some of the adding some of the stickles and things like that can can do for it okay and we do want to ink it I'm just gonna ink around it a little bit and then we're gonna go over to this one and then we're just gonna glue this one right on so this would be one that sits in a pocket or is just kind of free free flowing some more so then that's how that looks how cute is that and then you've got that little hinge on both sides oh, who knew I love this idea so much okay let's do some other stamps we'll do black again and then try to play with our our metal have here we've got gold sparkles we've got some of this gold mix of it but the silver I don't have to shake it anymore but silver does work <laughs> so then so that is super fun all right I did try some of the iridescent golden brown before and it's still drying but those are really cute that's just a plain stamp but this one so what if we were to try try it on And it could look even better. So I am experimenting as I go a little bit here. So there's those. And then I have a little booklet here. Okay, got my glue stick. So first we'll glue this on here. And, I don't know, do I want the hinge going this direction? Maybe we'll try it that way. There we go. So we can also do a transparent one on pattern paper. But I also thought you could do it on napkin. So let me just do that real quick. And then we'll see how much more transparent that is. So this is just like clear napkin We'll find our little stamp. Hopefully that doesn't go through. Did a little. That's all right. I would imagine, you know, just cut it down as small as you can. glue these hinges it's very delicate kind of tap that instead of you don't want to tear it it's pretty fragile when it's like that but that is a much more um, invisible 
hinge. So that is super cool. Oh, I love this idea. But I was thinking of using these little, you attach them with your eyelet setter. So that could work or just the brads would work fine. You could try different paints. So let me just try. There we go. So almost adds like a little silver nail, I guess is what you would call that, to it. So that looks pretty neat. And I'm excited to try these. So I did kind of go along with my, they're kind of like stickles or metallic paint pens. Well, you can just kind of play around. You could do little dots on them to add a little sparkle. So there is another one. Let's see if you can see the sparkle. Oh yeah. Okay, here's another one that I did using the black ink background and then these are like silver stickles. So look how pretty that is. That turned out fantastic. So I definitely recommend that one. And then also this is this is the one where it was a brown vintage photo stamp of the Fleur de Lis. And then over the top, I used the copper glitter stickles. Those are my two very favorites that I've done so far. Here's another option using these glitter stickers or sequin stickers, tons of variations. So if you have those on hand, uh, another way to go because that that's another neat looking option for this. So we've got this one and we've got the hint on the booklet. We've got the sewing pattern paper. We've got this one with the gold, gold ink, I should say, and then the gold brad. And then this one is like the bronze. It actually was a brown stamp and then bronze uh, ink over the top of it. This was like a metallic bronze because by itself it didn't, it wasn't very dark. Um, it was like one of these where it was a little lighter. And then the bronze brad in there. And then this one is silver. So this one I added the, that was the metallic mixative as well. I definitely encourage you to take all these metal finishes out and try different options. So I hope you found this helpful. If you're interested in seeing more videos, you can go ahead and click subscribe. Definitely check out my new playlist. A playlist, you just go over to my YouTube channel, you click on playlist, and then there'll be one called Quick List Junk Journal Videos. And those are the ones that are like 27 tips and tricks, list of the best glues and the best tools and things like that. Yeah, so check that out. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.